All right, guys, so today I've got my John, Do John Deere uh, D110. I've got the deck off of it because I've, I've been noticing that when I mow, um, I've got like a, a hard step right in the middle of my cutting path. So that, that tells me that either one of my blades are bent or the deck is bent, or I could possibly have a you know low tire pressure on one side or something. Um, but because the step is like in the middle of my track and not towards the edge of my track, I, I don't think it's tire pressure but I will double check my tire pressures just to make sure. But um, I got my deck off and stood up and let me show you what I found. Okay, so here I've got the deck off and stood up. Um, looks like a typical underside of a lawnmower deck. And usually when, when either um, the blades or the deck is bent, uh, one of the ways to test that is to rotate the blades so that the cutting edges meet in the middle. And if you've got an issue, these will be different heights. And as you can see, my two cutting edges right there are the same height. So that would make you think that everything's good. Uh, but if we rotate this one around and we look like from the straight back side of the deck, um, line up my back edge and front edge and it all looks well. Do that same thing to this side and we'll line up the back edge and the front edge. And you can see the blade tip sticking down below the surface of the deck, or below the lower edge of the deck. So, um, instead of being bent where it's, you know, side to side is off, this is front to back. So this blade on the very back of the deck is cutting shorter than that one. So, I gotta try to figure out how to straighten this out. Okay, so um, I've got this pulley off, removed off the top side, and if we look up here, um, you can see a crack through the paint and there's definitely some flexing. Um, there's also back here at the back of the deck uh, some paint chipped off and that's usually caused by you know some some flex that happened maybe hitting a, a tree root or hitting a curb or it's hard telling but uh, because right now if we were looking at our blade it's sitting like this and so this whole front side is pushed up so we need to get it pushed back down. Um, so I'm going to turn the blade so that it's, you know, side to side and support back here with some blocks of wood and just see if I can use a, um, another block of wood and a hammer to try to drive that down. All right. So, um, I haven't done much, but I was just kind of looking at this and I went ahead and removed the four bolts that hold the spindle because, um, these back two holes, it looks like they're kind of dimpled down. Like it's dented locally around here because the whole spindle twisted, kind of pulled these, and then these are raised up, or this whole section's raised up a little bit. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can just kind of flatten these out, um, do like a hammer and dolly, some bodywork style, um, put a, a hard surface on the back and hammer this up from the, from the inside of the deck, and maybe do the same back here, and then I'll bolt everything back together and test it out. Okay, so I've got my pulley back on. Um, I tried a few different things. Um, I did flatten out where the spindle bolts went in. Um, I also took a uh, pipe wrench and just kind of clamped it around with the spindle out and just kind of flexed around that hole to try to get it even. Um, that did a little bit. Um, then I took like this little block of wood and put it underneath uh, in about this location and then hammered, try to get the, the front side, I hammered downward on the front side. Um, that moved it a little bit. And then I, with the pulley off, I flipped it upside down and put a block of wood here and then hammered from the inside out to try to get things to kind of tilt this way. Um, now from the underside, you can see my hammer strikes um, where I kind of puckered the paint and so sort of chipped the paint off there and you know, various places. Um, I didn't want to hit the underside of the spindle because I didn't want to crack that cast aluminum, but um, I think I've got it pretty good. So I've got this block of wood sitting here. This, you know, the top surface of this is basically the same level as the bottom edge of the deck. And if I spin this, my belt will hang it up. So it's not contacting that wood. So it, the tip of the blade is now up inside the deck 
Um, so that that's a pretty good improvement because it was hanging down at least a quarter inch below the bottom edge of the deck. So uh, I also, you can see over here, I scraped all the old nasty grass out. It's been super wet here lately, so everything's sticking to the bottom of the deck. So I got that all cleaned out. Um, I'm gonna get the deck back under the mower, um, go mow, and I'll show you kind of a final result. All right guys, so uh, finished up and it's not perfect um, in person. I don't know if it'll come out on the video. Uh, in person, I do see just the slightest step um, where the two blades aren't cutting exactly the same height, but it's pretty good. Um, there's a little spot about right in here that you can maybe see and it's a bit of a slope and I was trying to keep my weight to one side. So I think that's what caused that. Um, but you can see these where I just went up and down. Um, it's all pretty even. Uh, it's, the ground's really wet. It's been raining the past four or five days straight. First day that we've had sunshine. So you can see my tire tracks um, down through there. But it it's noticeably better um, than the next step. But you know I could continue trying to straighten it out a little bit more. But um, for for what it is. I think I can live with this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any pictures um, before how it was, but there's a noticeable uh, hard line where that right side blade would just cut cut a little deeper than the rest of it. So hopefully that helps someone out. Um, I know that usually you will compare where the two blades meet each other in the middle. And in my case, it was really close, almost no difference in the middle. Mine was bent where the back of the blade was just much lower. So, hope you guys like this one. If you like what I do, uh, be sure to subscribe down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up and leave those comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.